how to thrive in uncertain times. Hello everybody, it's Johnny Campbell here, The Transition Man, and in this video, we're gonna talk about three important elements that will help you thrive in uncertain times. Hey everybody, it's Johnny Campbell here, the transition man, best-selling author, professional speaker. I wanted to create this video to talk about something very important that's going on right now and something that we have to get our minds around and just get ourselves around so that we can understand better. And that because of all the events that are occurring, we are living in truly some uncertain times. And what I want to talk about is really how you thrive in these uncertain times and as these uncertain times have come about it's been important for us to embrace the new things that have come along here some of the new things that have come along we've got new tools we've got new technology and we've even gotten new tactics ways to do business ways to communicate ways to deal with other people based on social distancing but the reality is we have to have the right mindset to embrace all of these things. See, uncertainty creates fear. And where fear is, doubt and worry also exist. So it is our mindset about uncertainty that we first have to master. See, that's the key. We have to master our mindset first before we can really embrace the other things that are going on in this world right now and in your life right now. So what I want to talk about are the three elements that can help you be more masterful over the uncertainties that occur. Now, uncertainties will always happen in our lives. Change will always be there. And how we deal with change is really the most important part of the process, how we deal with it when change happens. But when change happens, uncertainty occurs. So I want to remind you of that. When change happens, uncertainties occur. So whenever you're facing change, realize uncertainties will follow that change event. So what I want to talk about is how we deal with those uncertainties after the change has happened. And really it comes down to these three areas, your beliefs, your trust, and your hope. Now you would think in the world of today, what do you mean by those three ideas right there, those three principles? Well, how what you believe in what you trust in and what you hope for is how you start to overcome uncertainty what do you believe in when i think about beliefs i think about my mindset i think about what do i believe in what i believe in myself i believe in my personal resiliency and i believe in people and their abilities to unify and come together to solve a problem so my beliefs help me with my uncertainty trust is number two what do I trust? Well, I trust the medical professionals to provide us with the best advice that they would know. I trust that the government will do the best that it can with what it knows. And I trust that people will do the right thing in a crisis. That's what I can trust in. Hope, number three. I hope, and hope is about a promise of the future. I hope that we will get through this in a way that allows us to be better on the other side. My hope for us is that we will all be able through this experience to grow stronger, to have more clarity, more understanding about who we are, and that we can come together and do amazing things together. My hope is that we will now see new opportunities both in business and in our lives. I hope that we will realize that the things that of the past we have to let go of and that we have to embrace a new world now. I hope that from this new leaders come about who can see a brighter future for tomorrow based on what's already occurred, who can see a new pathway. I hope that as a speaker, I'm given the opportunity to continue to do the work that I do, whether it is virtually or it is on stages. That promise of tomorrow is what keeps me going. But that promise of tomorrow is also what helps me overcome uncertainty because I have something that I'm looking forward to. See, it's what we believe in, it's what we trust, and it's what we hope for 
for tomorrow that helps us overcome the uncertainties that we have in our lives right now. And this is where it starts. Now, as you watch this video, or maybe you watch other videos, people will talk about a lot of different things. But we always have to start with the root. We start with the root of the issue. What you believe in, what you trust, and what you hope for. That's how you start to overcome the uncertainties. See, change will always be there. And I want you to remember this. Change is an event, situation, or thing, but it's not a person. How we transition through the change is what we are involved with. Those changes will always happen. How we transition through the change. And as we transition through the change, we are transformed by the experience that we have. That's the most important thing to realize. That as we go through this time right now, we are being transformed by this experience. This experience will either make us better individuals or it'll make us worse, but we will never be the same. And my hope is that everyone that's going through this can be better on the other side of it, can have learned something about themselves, can have learned something about their community, and can have learned something about this world going through this process. I mean, that's really what I look at as we go through this here. And at each level, I've learned something about myself, my community, and I've learned something about this world. And I've learned that I have a say, and I can have an impact in this world more than I ever thought. And so can you. We, each and every one of us, has the ability to make a big difference by our own actions and our own decisions. But we have to realize that. And sometimes what happens to us is that when these events occur, we feel powerless to them. We feel like a victim to them. And that victim that we feel inside of ourselves, that's our mindset, saying that we don't have any say, we don't have any control. There are controllables within this. And the one controllable is how you think about yourself, how you think about the situation, and how you think about getting through the situation. You have control over that. But you have to make a decision that you're going to have control over that. That's really what I want to do with each and every one that's watching this video right now, is help you get into the right state of mind so that you can control your controllables to the best of your ability. One of the things that in this video here that you're watching, if you look and if you're watching it on YouTube, there's a box. Click on the box below and there'll be a link for you to opt in to my newsletter or into my staying in touch situation, my list. And by doing that, you and I will have a chance to stay connected and you'll be updated anytime I release these videos. Also, if you like what I've had to say here, and we've never really connected before, there's educational materials that are as well in the links inside of the description box. I've even written a book on this type of topic here called Becoming the Agent of Change. It's, top, it's called The Agent of Change. How to get and people to embrace change without losing your mind and your bank account. So what we're dealing with today is something that I've been talking about for the past 20 years. And I feel that this is my time to really help a lot of people navigate through this process. This is that moment where it's my opportunity to really help people get to where they need to be. But it's also your moment as well. It's your moment to develop your skills and your abilities so that you can help the people you want to help. But you first have to help yourself. And that starts with your mindset. How you think about yourself, how you think about the situation, and how you think about getting through the situation. Now, if what I've said to you makes sense, please also subscribe to the channel. There should be a button on the side here. As you can see, I'm trying to grow the channel. The channel's not that big yet. But I think the time is now. And if you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button. At least hit that so that you're updated every time I release one of these videos. You know, the life we're living now is unique times. It's turbulent times. But we can thrive in it. We can succeed in it if we think about things in the right way. Inside the box, you can opt in. There's links that you can take advantage of my online courses and materials and access my books as well. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I want to wish you all the best in your success. 
and I'll see you in the next video.